Let us teach the New Testament. First Epistle of John. Lesson 7, 1 John 3, verses 11 through 18. In this seventh of 15 lessons on the New Testament book of 1 John, we shall deal with these 10 topics. This is the message that you have heard from the beginning, that we should love one another. We should not be like Cain, who was of the evil one and murdered his brother. And why did he murder him? Because his own deeds were evil and his brother's righteous. Do not be surprised brothers, that the world hates you. We know that we have passed out of death into life, because we love the brothers. Whoever does not love abides in death. Everyone who hates his brother is a murderer, and you know that no murderer has eternal life abiding in him. By this we know love, that he laid down his life for us, and we ought to lay down our lives for the brothers. But if anyone has the world's goods and sees his brother in need, yet closes his heart against him, how does God's love abide in him? Little children, let us not love in word or talk but in deed and in truth. In verse 311, from the 4th century, some manuscripts spell message as epangelia, as in 225, instead of angelia. Both spellings mean message. In 313, from the 4th century, some manuscripts omit and from the beginning of the verse, as do many translations. And some manuscripts read our brothers instead of the brothers. From the 5th century, some manuscripts insert his brother after does not love. In 315, from the 4th century, some manuscripts employ an alternative spelling of his and of him. In 316, from the 6th century, a few manuscripts have concerning our sins, as in 2.2, whereas most manuscripts have for our sins. In 317, from the 4th century, some manuscripts put an accent mark over abide, indicating a logical future tense instead of the actual present tense. To explain how you know that no murderer has eternal life, see Matthew 15:19. Out of the heart come evil thoughts, murder, adultery, sexual immorality, theft, false witness, slander. These are what defile a person. Verse 311 in Greek begins with the word because, logically connecting this section, 311 through 18, with the previous two sections. Death refers to spiritual death, to which one is subject unless one lives out of the power of God's grace. The heart, as often in the ancient world, inner body parts served as reference for psychological aspects of the seat of the emotions. In our usage, a transference is made to the rendering heart, or the English bowels. Jesus gave his life Psuche for us, that is, his life on earth, the condition of being alive, earthly life, life itself. 
In Matthew 5.21, Jesus said of the devil that he was a murderer from the beginning, who brought death into the world by misleading Adam. The second person plural indicative, the mood of plain statement, and the imperative mood, forms of some Greek verbs are spelled the same and may occur with or without a subject noun or pronoun. Thus the Greek in 3.13 could translate, you are surprised, or be surprised. Therefore, interpreters and translators must discern whether such second-person plural verbs be in the indicative mood or the imperative mood. If such verbs are negatives, then the distinction is clear, for the negative particle with indicatives is ou, and with imperatives is me. Thus the verb not be surprised must be a negative imperative. Still, its present tense may also imply a present action that one should stop, as in stop being surprised. Ask the Holy Spirit to show you teachable ideas and summaries from the passage. For example, two actions of Jesus Christ. Three kinds of life. What is Christian love? And traits of those who do not love Christians. If need be, then explain the historical Christian doctrine of life and death. Besides natural life and death of humans, of beasts, of plants, and of insects, both the First and the New Testaments employ the terms life and death for human beings in their spiritual relation to God. Those who worship another deity or who have no faith in the God of the Bible are said to be spiritually dead in trespasses and sins, whilst those who have put their trust in Jesus Christ become spiritually alive, having the Holy Spirit. The dead will remain separated from God forever, whereas the living will enjoy life with God forever. In small gatherings of learners, after someone or several have read or recited 1 John 3, 11 through 18, pose queries such as these and let everyone reply. What have you learnt from this passage about Jesus? What have you learnt about love? What have you learnt about hatred? Whilst preaching, teaching, or leading, recommend ways in which to apply the passage. Perhaps review seven basic commandments of Jesus. Review Jesus' commandment for Christians to love one another. Ask about current needs that some Christians have and plan together to meet those needs. Memorize together Jesus' new commandment. Please read five times 1 John 3 verses 19 through 24 before you view the next video lesson. Please leave comments or queries or write to me at the download site. I shall try to reply to you by email or in a video.